tell me this. Will Israel agree to and cooperate with an impartial, independent inquiry into what went on? This is an example of singling out Israel for special treatment. And I'd ask you, when there's a NATO country involved in conflict somewhere in the world, and there's an incident where civilians have been killed, does anyone ask for an international inquiry if it's NATO forces in Afghanistan or in Iraq? I don't think so. Here's a guy throwing, this is a soldier, thrown overboard. He has severe brain damage now. Look at this. You see this? There's a soldier on the ground and they're using pipes to beat him. That video, you're hard-pressed to see it here in America from media outlets besides Fox. Nobody seems willing to show that. Look, you can argue whether Israel should have dropped people onto that ship or not, in the re but the truth of the matter is Israel has a right to know. They're at war with Hamas has a right to know whether or not arms are being smuggled in. And up to now, Charlie, what's happened? They've said, here you go. You're in the Mediterranean. This ship, if you divert, divert slightly north, you can unload it, and we'll get the stuff into Gaza. So what's the big deal here? What's the big deal of insisting it go straight to Gaza? Well, it's legitimate for Israel to say, I don't know what's on that ship. These guys are dropping eight or 3,000 rockets on my people.